Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. For today's video, ang gagawin natin is we will evaluate algebraic expressions. Pero before tayo pumunta sa ating discussion, shoutout muna kay Sir Wilmar Batakaw, kaibigan ko simula ng bata ako. Shoutout kay Sir Rain. Shoutout kay Ma'am Rodalyn Q. Peña. Heart Heart. Shoutout kay Ma'am Eve Pareja Tarle. And lastly, shoutout kay Wella Pearl Gumanoy at yung grade 8 Rizal, batch 2016-2017 of Adelina 1 National High School. So before tayo pumunta at i-discuss kung paano nga ba mag-evaluate ng algebraic expressions, punta muna natin yung definition ng algebraic expressions kasi kailangan maging clear sa atin ano nga ba ang isang algebraic expression. Sabi dito, it is an expression consists of numbers, variables, and operations. At ito mga examples na meron tayo. We have here 8n, 3x plus 1, 9y minus 1, n over 4 plus 1. Ilan lang yan sa mga possible na expressions na may encounter natin. So, let's move on and evaluate an expression. Sabi dito, in order to evaluate an algebraic expression, you must know the exact values for each variable. Then, you will simplify, substitute, and evaluate using the order of operations. We have your example number one. Yung given natin dito is expression with one variable. And the example number one, we have here, evaluate the expression 3x squared plus 1 when the value of x is equal to 2. In this given example, ito yung expression na meron tayo. We have... 3x squared plus 1. At sabi doon, kailangan alam natin yung mismong value ng variable na ipapalit natin. The value of x is equal to 2. Simple lang. If your x is equal to 2, you will replace this, this variable as 2. So, maging expression natin ngayon is we will have 3 times 2 raised to 2 plus 1. Again, you need to follow the order of operations. Dito, Una yung kailangan i-simplify ay yung 2 raised to 2. So that will be 3 times 4 plus 1. And then multiply natin yung 3 and 4. We can get the product of 12 plus 1. And then the final answer is 13. That's it. We have the answer of 13 if the given expression is 3x squared plus 1 when x is equal to 2. So, I hope na nakuha nyo yung first example natin na napakadali lang. Okay, let's move on to item number 2. In, exa in example number 2, the expressions with more than one variable. So, kung mapansin nyo, tingnan natin eh. Evaluate the expression x plus the quantity of 3 plus y squared over 2 minus z. What are the variables? We have here the variable x, the variable y, and the variable z. Kailangan, para ma-evaluate natin ang given expression, kailangan meron tayong value ng bawat variable. Again, let's rewrite the given expression. We have x plus the quantity of 3 plus y squared over 2 minus z. And then, we have here the value of x bilang 4. So we can substitute 4 to replace x. So, this is 4 plus, copy natin yung 3, plus yung y natin, meron siyang value na 3. So, we will have 3 raised to 2 over 2 minus, yung z natin can, can be replaced by 8. Kasi, z is equal to 8. And then, simplify natin. Una natin simplify itong 3 plus 3 squared. That will be 4 plus 3, and then yung 3 squared natin, ito, ay magiging 9 over 2 minus 8. Simplify natin itong part na to. 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. So we have 4 plus 12 over 2 minus 8. So pwede natin simplify yung 12 over 2 bilang, copy natin to plus 6 minus 8. Tama? 12 divided by 2 is 6. 
And then you can simplify 4 plus 6 plus 8, which is 10, minus 8. That will give you the answer of 2. Ito yung sagot natin for item or example number 2. So sa example natin ito, we encountered uh, more than one variable. Dito meron tayong tatlong variables. Now let's move on to item number 3. Using fraction bar as grouping. So fraction yung ating expression dito. Evaluate the expression 2x squared y over x minus y. As you can see, we have two variables, the variable x and y. And then the values of the variables, your x is equal to 5 and your y is equal to 1. So again, ipapalit lang natin tong 5 na to sa lahat ng variable x. So we can have 2 at meron tayo rin x. Replace natin bilang 5 kasi x is equal to 5. And then raise to 2. And then we have here the y. So, ang gagawin natin yun, i-multiply natin yung y natin is 1. Over your x here is 5 minus 1. Simplify lang natin yung operation natin. We have 2 times your 5 squared is 25 times 1 over 4. Yung 25 times 1 or 2 times 25 is 50 times 1, that will give you 50 over 4. In simplifying or evaluating expression, you have here the answer of 50 over 4. Pwede, pwede, pwede pa natin siyang simplify at ipakita yung lowest terms niya. Pwede siyang i-express as decimal, pero ang suggestion ko rito is leave nyo lang siya bilang fraction, pero naka lowest term. Yung 50 over 4 natin can be simplified as 25 over 2. Ito yung sagot natin for item number 3. Again, if meron kayong clarification about the solution na meron tayo sa ating topic, pwede kayo mag-comment down below sa ating video. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.